I expect to give the GC a spin. If it's awesome, awesome, I'll keep using it. If it's not awesome, well, uh, I'll, I need to give it a try, but I'm definitely most excited about uh, sequence collections. Finally, Scala collections framework is slowly trickling down into Java, and finally, more convenience methods uh, will be available. As it, it took a while, to say the least, but uh, I'm go I know I'm going to use it a lot because, well, programming in Java is going through collections all over and copying things uh, back and forth. Definitely Java can get and does get a lot of inspiration from other languages. As in, uh, I like Scala, there is nothing to hide here. So the more from a Scala collections framework uh, will get into Java, the happier I'll be. And if I could stop having to do final var and have a val instead, that would really be awesome. Uh, apart from that, well, look at Scala's pattern matching. It's very convenient and powerful as in, I don't know how much of that magic is uh, Java going to be able to port, but well, the more the merrier. It's a good start, but I'm looking forward to more. Definitely. Uh, if uh, you're a library developer, you will have a lot of things uh, different for you. If you're uh, passionate about concurrency, it's going to be a whole new world available at your fingertips. Uh, if you're a normal developer, probably not so much. It will happen behind the scenes. Uh, but that's definitely going to unleash new problems and create new uh, performance uh, issues where people do things that just weren't possible before. Obviously, some of the rule of thumbs uh, uh, from the path will no longer hold because, well, if regs become cheap, uh, then you can do a whole lot of things differently. Yes, definitely. Uh, Valhalla and Panama. I have no idea when the day comes, but when it does, it will be exciting. Uh, obviously, this depends if uh, somebody does interact with C and uh, similar kind of uh, libraries and strange worlds. Uh, but for people who do, it will make a huge uh, difference. I'm just excited. Java is definitely a good language for newcomers. Uh, first of all, it's very popular. It's been around for a long time and there is a lot of good practices out there about how to write and how to how not to write uh, Java applications, and which means if somebody is learning, they can pick up uh, good tools, good practices, because uh, that body of knowledge is already available in the community. And of course, the community. There is very little drama uh, in the Java space as opposed to some other places, uh, which means uh, those communities uh, can be a really great source of knowledge and inspiration about how to do software. You can find uh, learning mates and uh, they also guarantee a lot of job security. As in if somebody has taught themselves to program with the intention of being paid to do it, then yeah, Java is a very good and safe choice here. It's not really a feature of the language as uh, the community, a lot of people are stuck behind on older versions. And that means that they don't get to benefit from all of the new things that uh, we're discussing here and will be discussed in the years to come because people are still using Java 8 or earlier. And there is nothing wrong with that except for, well, they don't get to benefit, which means what we're talking is never going to hit them or it's going to hit them in 10 years. And that's kind of sad, but that's not Java's fault.